Recording in progress. of the sit bones, pushing those hips forward, elevating the chest, dropping the shoulders as we elongate through the spine, the jaw releases, the tongue is in the soft palate, the eye focus is at the third eye. The attention comes to the breath. And we inhale and exhale deeply into the heart space, allowing that fresh prana to reach around to any spaces of stale energy, letting go on the exhale of anything that we need to just surrender and release, coming into a place of awareness of the pranic body, the physical body, and of the auric field, all tied so beautifully together. And this morning, I invite you to really bring that prana down to the belly. We've been doing so much work on balancing the hemispheres of the brain, of the memory gland. We're going to shift our attention down into the navel, an adjustment of the navel, of the navel energy. And it also continues our balance of the left and the right side, both actions activating both sides of the brain but also balancing the polarities of the masculine and the feminine so go ahead and breathe down until you feel the belly really undulate with the breath paying particular attention to where you sense that second pulse that second heartbeat around the navel center and we'll touch on that soon but also feel into what your energy is like this Creo really helps to activate our energy, kind of creating a beautiful foundation for energy for the day, for the week. So just checking where you are on this Monday morning, a little bit depleted, or perhaps you're well rested after the weekend and really ready to go. And let's bring our hands out in front of us, rubbing the palms together vigorously, creating some warmth and some heat. And then bringing that heat into your prayer pose, thumbs connected, the sternum, fingers pointing up and pointing out. We take a nice, long, deep inhale in through the nose and a great big sigh out. And another nice, long, deep inhale all the way down into the belly. And a great big sigh out. Let's inhale to tune in. Um. God. 
those arms out, flip the palms so they're facing up, deep inhale to sweep the palms up into prayer over the head, palms touch, pressure, extra sip, rounded lips, reach, 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 the chin is still tilted down in Jalanarabhana, but you feel the pull through the ribs. Crown is high. Exhale, bring the prayer down to your heart like you're pulling in the energies to the heart space. Land on the full exhale at the heart. Another deep inhale through the nose. Feel the prayer rise. Flip it down. Release. Let go. Let that prayer drop all the way through the area of the lower chakras down to the earth below. Take the left hand out, place it in Gya Mudra over the left knee, arm is straight, thumb and index are touching, the three fingers are together, everything is in alignment. Right hand comes up and we're going to close off the right nostril doing a bit of just balance, alternate nostril breathing. Fingers are up like little antennae. Inhale deeply through the left hand side, that moon cooling all the way in. Keep the face really gentle. The index finger comes to close the left nostril. Right hand, right thumb releases. Exhale through the right nostril. Inhale through the right nostril. 
all the way, close it off, exhale through the left nostril. Inhale through the left. Exhale through the right. And continue. Inhale right, exhale left, alternate nostril breathing. with that, you can release the hand, only when you're done, down in the Gyal Mudra, both arms straight, eye focus, third eye, I invite you to bring your hands then to the belly, around the navel, just take a moment to feel into this energy center, Manapura. Maybe the fingers are down below the navel, touching into the sacral chakra. The thumbs are above, closer to the solar plexus. This powerful energy center, fire, water, confidence, willpower, and passion, and breathe and feel that energy center expand and deflate, breathing from both nostrils fully all the way in, down to the belly, all the way out through the nose. And then go ahead and come lying down on your back. Bring your right knee towards the chest. And go ahead and grab onto that top of the shin, really on the top of the knee. You want to pull this knee into the chest and maybe do a couple of little pulls and stretches to get it really deep, get it open here. A little out to the side, a little closer to the midline but then find a place where it's really comfortable. That left leg is out straight, and we're gonna just start to raise it up and raise it down. Inhale up, 
Exhale down. You're gonna be here for a little while, so go ahead and find this first posture as a moving meditation.
leg up straight, left knee pulled in, really squeezing, inhale, hold the breath, squeeze, mula bandha, pull the navel up and in, gazing out the third eye, up towards the heavens, flutter that third eye, make sure your face is soft, a little smile, hold and squeeze. Slow release, right leg down first, total control, heel drops, start to stretch out that left leg, all the way out, hands on the belly, breathe, nose into the belly, fill it up, take an extra sip through rounded lips, let that chest fill up with prana as well. You are lifted. You are filled with the breath of life. Great big sigh out. Ah. Roll yourself over onto your belly. Now, hands are going to be by where the shoulders are. Think about it like you're going to come into a sphinx here. We're going to drop our chin down. This is your moon center. My chin is down. You can spread your legs if lower back gets sore from doing cobras and things like that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to lift up part way. So my elbows are off the earth. I'm opening up. I'm not tilting my head to affect the cervical spine. I'm gazing straight forward through the third eye. Then I drop slowly. I can feel my belly connect, my ribs, breasts come down, chin, not the third eye this time. We let the chin settle. We inhale up. It's small, it's controlled. You inhale up, you exhale down. Feeling into that moon center connection as the chin drops. Inhaling up. Go ahead and find a beautiful flow with that movement. Lovely. Big adjustment for the rib cage. Yes. Just the neck.
drop your chin down, and I want you to start to squish your knees up, kind of lifting up. Actually, you're probably going to have to lift up and then do it. Your knees come in, and your hands are going to come back here, but you try and keep the chin on the earth. It's a little bit of a weird posture. You're trying not to arch the back up. You lay your, just your chin down. It's like you're trying to lay your body down. Mine doesn't really touch here. But you're holding on to the back of the thighs. And we just close the eyes here and settle in. And we breathe. If you can get your chest on the earth, that's great. My chest doesn't want to do that with my chin, but I'm coming as far down as I can. My buttocks are open here, and you just breathe. Third eye, moon center, touching the earth. kind of the counter posture to everything we just did, squeezing and pressing on the colon and the intestines. This really allows all of the organs of elimination to be in like an anti-gravity pose. It allows them to open up and just be released. mind is wandering at all, come to your inhale, sat, exhale, nam, total relaxation, buttocks up, just relax and release. seconds right here. long deep inhale in through the nose hold that breath squeeze mola banda here pulling up and in on the navel feeling the pressure of the chin on the earth and then release and let yourself come back down onto the belly so we're going to come up into a bow pose. Get yourself prepared. You may want to like let your hips rock on the earth for a moment. Let go of any tension. And then get ready by grabbing the outsides of the feet here. Your chin is touching as these thighs are down. And then we're going to be inhale, raise up. Exhale, knees and chin down. Inhale, raise up, push the feet up and out into the hands. Open up through that heart center. Release, drop down, chin connects. Inhale up, push the feet into the hands. Exhale down, find your beautiful flow with this. Bring in the mantra. Beautiful. Two minutes.
this a little more dynamic, go faster. Everything you do today can be at your own pace, given your energy. Really feel into it. Maybe you start off slow and then go faster. Straighten. 
the entire body relaxes onto the earth. Breathing deeply in and out of the belly, feeling the expansion of the belly, pressing into the earth beneath you. A couple of long breaths right here. Yeah. Now, as you're breathing, I want you to focus on all of the work we just did on that lower triangle from your belly and down. Take a moment to tune in to how the energy might be split from the lower triangle to the upper triangle. We need to share the power of the lower triangle with the upper. So let's take an inhale, slowly start to rise up here, and we are going to do frogs. We're going to shift the energy with our kundalini frogs coming into position. So it asks us to do 52. You know that you can do 13, 26, or 52. You will have the time when you are done. I want you to go ahead and make sure on the last round you inhale up, squeeze Mula Bandha and hold. And then I want you to keep the eyes closed and take all of that energy and lie into corpse pose. I'll know you're all ready when you're all in corpse pose. Let's go ahead. Frogs.
keep going. You've got plenty of time if you haven't finished yet. If you're lying on your back, waiting, find your pulse with your hands on your belly, that second heartbeat. Place your hands, it might be right in the center, it might be to the side. We're adjusting the navel here today, getting it back into alignment. So feel, press into that heartbeat and breathe with it while we wait for everyone to finish. Beautiful work. So we breathe now with that second heartbeat. Find it. Pulsing, usually quite rapidly. Now take your hands and interlace them, take them off the belly, interlace them behind the head, holding the head in your interlaced hands. Bring the elbows up towards the sky, and then we are going to slowly start raising the legs up and down. It's only a minute and a half. Go ahead and begin the lift. Make sure the elbows are up, cradling the head. If this is too hard on your lower back, try and maintain the posture. Do one leg at a time or bend the knees. If not, you can shift the hands under the buttocks, but try and keep this posture. Now speed it up. Inhale up, exhale down faster.
tongue very stiff. La 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 la. Do one more big inhale. Tongue is stiff. Your last big round. La 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 your navel in and out. Pump the navel in and out. Now you're going to start chanting as you pump the navel. Ha, 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 ha. The tongue is stays stiff and hits the roof of the mouth. Ha. There is no tension in any part of your body except that navel up, above, and down to the mat. Hud, 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 Hug, 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 you are activating new energy for a long life. The return of youth. You're renewing cells. It's the best facial you can ever give yourself. Keep vibrating with that tongue hitting the roof of the mouth. Let's go. Hug, 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 hug. Get all of that energy in the navel, all of that fire, that courage, that determination. Hug, 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 hug. Let's go faster. Hug, 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 Take a deep inhale, hold it, pull the navel back and down towards the mat as you squeeze, pull the bandha, 
Smile on the face. Light up your fire. Light your fire. Hold, hold, hold. Release breath, belly, banda. Bring the knees into the chest, grab your hands just below the knees on the shins, rock from side to side. Take some of that energy because we're about ready to really move it. We're going to take everything, every bit of fire we have in that navel, and we're going to first shake it up into the upper triangle. Start to rock up and down on your spine. Come with the legs seated and start to shake everything. Your hands from the waist up. Waist up. Keep this as your trunk, this base, these feet. Head, hands. Shake it all. Don't repeat one movement. You are a sitting dance. Unique and unfamiliar, everything. Shake, shake, shake. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 
Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Inhale Hold the breath, squeeze Mola Bandra, vibrating with the energy of the divine in all of its bliss and pleasure. Hold. When you release, slowly bring those knees in and gently release yourself onto the mat, holding on to the knees and the chest, rock yourself up into a seated posture into easy pose, hands into Gya Mudra, hold and breathe. The goal is for three minutes to have no thoughts. If thoughts come, we say no, we create a thought form that we have nothing here, nothing in the mind. Total silence.
fear and thought less. When in this state of clarity and this vibration, we transition into long satnams. Chanting our truth, our identity, our divinity. Chant with the power of the navel.
Take the deep inhale, your highest truth. Hold it. And as you release, come laying onto your back with your hands around the belly, top and bottom. And as you relax back, I want you to take a moment, crown, 10th gate, that lotus blossom, open to connect to your spirituality, spiritual wisdom. Check in with your third eye that it's gazing up to the heavens, tapping in to all of the senses. Tap into the heart space, the soul space. Feel that being open. And bring your attention to the navel, the original connection to the mother, the life force, all of the 70,000 to 80,000 nadis around this space. Shamans call it the God hole. And as you breathe into this space, they say this is where we can really stuff things down, things we don't want to address, the things we hide from others. As we show our underbelly here, we know what a brilliant place it would be if everyone could just show their vulnerability. So taking a moment with this renewed fire, sense of energy, truth, and wisdom, meditate on your God hole. And perhaps clear out anything that's not serving you as we listen to the mantra for healing, Ramadasa.
clear out the space, imagine the connection from your navel up to the heavens as well. All of the energies, Rama, Dasa, Sase, Soham, calling on the energy of the sun, the moon, the earth, the infinite, the infinite, infinite. Breathe into your own glow and your own healing and your own connection. And if you feel called, if you feel it will enhance your experience, quietly, gently, like a prayer, chant Ramadasa. vibration and that breath. Release, bring the knees into the chest. Pull those legs up and release, giving a little release to that sacrum and the lower spine. You can rock from side to side. Keep that right knee in, press that left leg out straight. We're going to do a cat stretch over, pull that right knee over to the left hand side, right arm comes out, gaze to the right palm while we stretch through the spine, bringing out that nervous system, just allowing for a release, breathe. Switch sides. Long deep breaths. When you release this time, just go ahead and fall to that right side into a fetal posture. Hold it there for a moment, breathing in, breathing out, feeling into your energy. How are we showing up today, this week? This is a big week with this spring equinox. We are shifting back into the light. How are you going to rise up into this new season? What is your truth going to be? Your purpose? Take a nice long deep inhale. Let go of the great big sigh. Slowly with the eyes closed, rise up. 
Rise up into easy pose and put your hands on your heart. close our session by honoring ourself, one another, by sharing our energy and our light with the collective and sealing it with our highest truth. contribute to the well-being of all. As we exhale and bring that prayer down, please join me. Peace to all. Light to all. Truth to all. And love to all. Bow down giving thanks to Mother Earth and Father Sky. Blessing you on your prayers. Thanking you so much for your energy today. You rise up. And we greet one another with a supper. You have a couple of extra minutes. Might be very nice to think about those manifestations, seeds that want to be planted for the equinox.
Satnam. I'll see you on Wednesday.